Hey y'all, what it do? Your boy is back on the grind one more time. Your boy is back at it again, man. This is Mr. Griffin23. I am at work while it's nice and sunny out. I am stuck in here <laughs> for the rest of the day. I got here about 1130 uh, and been here ever since. So uh, anyways, y'all, I just wanted to give a quick intro to this video. This video, actually, it's kind of in order, but some of the footage is kind of chopped up just because um, my phone was overheating, and I might say this again once or twice in the video, but my phone was overheating in Vegas, uh, and it, we weren't really in the direct sunlight a whole lot, at least I wasn't with my phone, but for some reason, y'all, it just kept overheating. Like, I would try to go film some footage, film some cars, things like that, and like in 30 seconds, my phone would just stop recording, so... Uh, I think it was just because it was too hot. I kept trying to do it and do it and do it. It would kept shutting off, shutting off, shutting off. So I really didn't get a whole lot of footage from the actual event. Um, but I tried to get what I could. Uh, I got a lot of footage like at night, just like of cars rolling, kind of things like that. But uh, it was just really sporadic as to far as to which, as to when my phone would actually work as far as just, uh, well, overall, really, I would go plug it in to charge and it would say uh, phone can't charge right now because of you know temperatures. It has to wait till it cools down. Just things like that. It was just being really weird, you guys. So maybe it's just just the heat overall. I don't know. So I didn't get a whole lot of footage of the event. Long story short, but I did get some. So definitely check this video out. So really, this video is from like beginning to end of my whole trip to LS Fest. I'm talking the drive, the stops, the the event, the return back to Seattle, man. So if you guys didn't know, I drove my box Chevy from Seattle to Vegas, drove it around Vegas, and then drove it back to Seattle, man. And it was phenomenal. I only had one little mishap, and I had a brake issue, of course. I think I gave you guys a video on the brakes. Hate drum brakes. Not going to do them anymore. You'll see that in the video. I'm not doing them, not touching them anymore, man. Ugh, man. I'm going discs all the way around on all my cars. I just can't, can't, can't do it no more, man. I can't do it. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick intro to this video just to guys let you know, man, this is my whole trip from beginning to end to LS Fest. So if you're looking strictly just for LS Fest footage, it's not the video for you. But if you want to come on an adventure with me, get some rolling shots, get some epic rolling shots, see me rolling on the strip. With the box Chevy? Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Stay tuned, man. This video is going to be for you, all right? So if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing. Hit the notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. I also am going to do a follow-up video uh, after this in regards to what is next. What am I doing next uh, in regards to just projects? Uh, what am I going to put on hold? Obviously, I got a baby coming. If you guys didn't know, baby's coming in June, probably within the next four to six weeks. Hopefully, he'll hold off another four <laughs> four to six weeks hopefully six weeks uh but i don't want my wife to be uh, any in, in any discomfort for too long so hopefully he comes out when he's ready and then she'll be okay with that as well too so anyways a lot going on i'm trying to get her k5 on the road so i'll do a follow-up video in regards to the k5 and kind of what's next leading up to when i'm trying to get that done and i'm trying to make a show with that k5 as well too so uh and then after that is baby time so um I'm going to do a follow-up video in regards to all that, so stay tuned for that, you guys. But anyways, here's the video. Again, if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. Mr. Griffin 23, you know what it is, all right? Check it out.
and stuff, it wouldn't be a road trip without something happening, y'all. <laughs> I can't call it, man. This dang car gave me trouble all the way even up through the dang trip, man. All of these parts are new, except for the actual um, hardware, but it all seemed in good shape, so I reused it. New brakes. That rotor was still good, so I had it re... Uh, I don't know what they call it. Resurfaced or something. I can't even think right now, you guys. Anyways, something happened. I think a component or something broke, which caused the brand new wheel cylinder to blow out, which then caused a whole other issue. Keep in mind, these brake shoes were brand new. I had this, uh, dang man, I can't even think right now. Resurfaced or whatever. Look at all that brake dust. Brand new brake shoes. Look how hot that thing was getting. So, anyways, y'all, that's where we're at right now. Waiting for my buddies to get back. They went to O'Reilly's for me. Come to the other side. Everything's perfect on this side. So, it's a plus there, y'all. But, staying after it. Ugh. The car life grind. The car game stress. <laughs> Yeah, man. Appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Chevy Let's hit the road. All right. I got a 496. Huh? I got a 496. Okay. Yeah. 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 Nice, yeah. 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 man. Yeah. Single digits yeah, gas mileage. <laughs> yeah. All right.
Cloud Lake View, but where is the view? Send it. crossing out there is exactly a quarter mile away from here. On green, I'm going for it. I had it got switched back, mm -hmm. turn signals for it, so they were white when I was driving, and then the, the amber thing. Mm -hmm. I just felt it was a lot safer. Crazy views right now, y'all, crazy. Just because there's literally nothing but me, and the open road. Nobody behind me, nobody in front of me. y'all we are on the road i have no idea what highway this is it's some highway between reno and vegas and it's uh this highway takes you right into vegas so man we out here driving the box chevy y'all driving the box chevy Ooh -wee. so we are probably about 700 miles maybe eight 800 miles in or so into the total trip and man it has been an eventful one um, as you guys know I've been dealing with the brakes so I don't want to get into that too much because it's a long drawn out story but yeah they did fail on me in the rear and then I had to buy all new stuff and then the uh, this side started messing with me too so anyways in the back is all new stuff with the exception of one drum everything else is brand brand new so still doing a little weird thing but i think one of the drums may be out a little bit so uh but they don't get hot anymore i don't smell any weird stuff so we are good to go i'll be good for this trip until we get back i think after this you guys i'm putting disc brakes on it i just I'm, I'm done with drums man i don't need a crazy setup in regards to uh you know disc brakes go so i'm gonna put on kind of a, a more basic setup if possible <laughs> and then uh, go ahead and swap those 
And man, after this weekend, man, I am done with messing with drums. So anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate on this road. This is a slight intro into LS Fest, man. I don't know what type of footage I'll get, but I'm sure I'll get something. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram, man. I've been posting a lot of stuff there. Uh, and as soon as something comes up, I post it on my Instagram way more quicker than what I do on YouTube. So, but I still like to keep the YouTube because I still like to keep everybody uh, posted up and posted in on what I'm doing. So if you do the channel, don't everything, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, y'all. Yeah, Mr. Griffin 23, driving the box Chevy to uh, LS Fest in Vegas, 1200 mile road trip, man. If you guys are into LS swaps, man, are you comfortable enough to take your own, your own LS swap and drive it? 2400 miles round trip along with all the other extra curriculars that's going to be going on because you best believe the box chevy's going on this trip that is for show all right so anyways man y'all stay tuned mo coming
y'all what it do what it do we are in like oakville oregon something like that surrounded by all these mountains y'all but look she is running solid 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 y'all this has to be one of the best running this overall running riding box chevys out there man this she running so solid I could pass anybody when I want to man this motor is running on point man shout out to my builder oh that's me <laughs> hey man this thing's running so solid man so I popped the hood just want to check out some things so I thought I'd bring it with me but yeah y'all she running solid got some casualties along the way What it do, y'all? Your boy is back on the grind. One more time, your boy is back at it again, man. And it is a lovely, lovely, lovely day here in Las Vegas, Nevada, LS Fest. It is actually Sunday, so today the event is still going, but we're going to go ahead and head back. Uh, we have a really, really, really <laughs> long drive. I think uh, all together, it's like maybe around 18 hours or so, so if everything goes smoothly so hopefully um well if everything goes smoothly we should be able to get back um faster than that but we're going to break it up in two days um my buddy's dad is with us he lives in the reno area so that's about probably take us about seven hours if we stop and so which we will and then from there reno to seattle is probably about 14 hours maybe something like that maybe maybe with stops so um we'll get back as of right now, Monday, probably about, hopefully about 6 or 7 p.m. So, I don't know. We'll see you guys. But anyways, I just wanted to give you some footage here from Las Vegas. Obviously, it's been warm and hot. The crazy thing is, is it's actually been a little bit cooler, like 70s, 80s. And then this weekend solely, it crept up to mid-90s and 100s. <laughs> like, really? And then tomorrow's supposed to be like... 80s and then the rest of the week was supposed to be like 70s and 80s i'm like wow so just for this weekend only it crept up to the to the 90s so definitely hotter than it has been here but nonetheless man the event was super super fun shout out to everybody man that came up to me um and just introduced themselves uh saying that they support the channel and they watch my videos and things like that and that is super super dope super awesome and um i really really do that for you guys man and you know i mean because youtube for me has been um just something to give back to the people give back to just you guys out there because when i started this nobody was really helping me i'd reach out to people nobody would give me any type of feedback for anything so i was like you know what i'm just gonna put out what i know what i do the struggles the grind the successes the wins and everything so you guys can kind of see and you know it's up raw you know some of it's uncut and i'm glad you guys appreciate that so thank you everybody out there that came just to introduce themselves to me took pictures man that 
all that was just so so awesome man and that's what i do it for but anyways you guys i am out here it's actually getting ready to go find an o'reilly's because some reason and somehow the brake lights went out on it i don't know how i didn't even know my buddy was behind me when we were leaving the racetrack and uh he said my brake lights didn't work so that was really odd so just the brake lights not the tail lights like i could turn the lights on and off they work fine the signals work fine but the brake lights don't work so i'm either thinking i'm not getting power to the brake switch or i need a new brake switch so what i'm going to do is actually go to o'reilly's and just buy a brake switch um can't be that much and if it doesn't work then i'll just take it back to to uh, the o'reilly's in seattle so um but it's hard for me to diagnose it here because I don't have my proper tools like a voltmeter, things like that. So I'll just have to drive home with no brake lights, I guess. So we'll see. But anyways, like I said, the brake lights work. Luckily, it's during the day. Luckily, we're on the open road. So there won't be a whole lot of people, hopefully, uh, like directly following me right behind me the whole time. So that should make it a little bit nicer. So. Anyways, y'all, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the box shaving. I'm actually going to show you my buddy's 442 as well, too. So let's go ahead and do that. If you're new to the channel, definitely by subscribing. Hit that notification bell. All that good stuff, y'all. Mr. Griffin 23 in the building. Holly LS Fest, man. It was phenomenal. Phenomenal event. Awesome cars. Awesome to meet so many people that I've only met through social or that I've only talked to through social media and, um, and just YouTube, things like that. So, man, it was awesome. But so anyways, let me go ahead and show you the whips. And I'm going to head to O'Reilly's. All right, let's walk over here real quick. Show you my buddy's 442. Nice neighborhood too, y'all. I guess it's that house right there. I guess that house was uh, Carrie Fisher's house from, um, what's her name? Princess Leia from Star Wars. That's, that's the word. It's not her house anymore, but I guess it was once before. But anyways, that's my buddy's 442. Man, I actually think it looks dope with the uh, with the um, LS Fest West sticker on it. It makes it look like an autocross car pretty pretty dope so if you haven't been following him definitely give him a follow he doesn't do youtube or any videos like that but that is his uh instagram handle ls underscore swapped underscore four four two so um he was going to do autocross but he decided not to the car is running good it's just a little bit funky the suspension is not quite dialed in the brakes things like that so he just didn't feel comfortable doing it so he decided not to but anyways i actually think that looks super super dope on there everybody was loving this car loving the color i don't think there was another 69 442 there at least so pretty pretty dope to see and actually he raised the car up a little bit too so the suspension is uh, set a little bit higher i think it looks a lot better than um what it did before but yeah y'all ls3 swapped Tremec 5 speed originally it was a it was a a, a manual car so he kept that same theme but man very unique lines on this car really nice vehicle you can see inside there if you can yep that's at five speed i don't know if the interior is original but it has it's the original original styling original concept and all yeah, that's that 442 69 original, original 442, so not a clone. Sorry, on my phone cut out, but uh, original 442 again, not a clone, but LS3 badging, he added that on there. But yeah, super, super nice car, y'all. So, get in the comments, let me know what you guys think. We'll go ahead and go over here, walk over to the to the OG box Chevy. And I got to go ahead and hit the road here, y'all. So, uh, there's a box Chevy looking all sweet and nice. So, uh, all the things that I did to it, I got the new white walls, inch and a half white walls, front and rear. They are a little bit wide for me. Um, I would have liked them to be a little bit thinner, 
but the website didn't have it. And then when I went and looked back after I had already bought them, I saw that they had a little bit thinner size. I'm like, man, really? So anyways, I guess I have to rock these for a while. It's not horrible, um, but they, they do hit a little bit when I uh, do a hard turn to the left, I believe. So yeah, y'all, this is it. This is her. I've done a lot of stuff to it in order to kind of get it ready for LS Fest. Ooh, we, it is warm out here, y'all. Warm out here. But everybody, I'm talking everybody at the event loved this car, y'all. Like, no lie. Love this car. And <laughs> it still surprises me. I mean, not, not really surprises me, but it's still... I still are kind of taken back a little bit about how much people actually like this car. I mean, people really, really, really love this car. And I think it's just the originality of it, how clean it is, and what's been done to it underneath the hood. I think a lot of people respect that. A lot of people respect that I retained the originality of the car, kept it OG, um, not following, you know, a lot of the trends as far as like looks and wheels and things like that. So uh, I think a lot of people just really, really enjoy that. So, and I do too. So, you know, the car is like kind of taking a life of its own and the original look is kind of has what's stuck with it and what people really like and so yeah y'all the super clean plush inside so i took off the towels and stuff at the show but yeah y'all she is looking real real sweet let me give you one quick look at the hood here or under the hood i should say I'm gonna go ahead and get out this heat. I'm wearing all, <laughs> I'm wearing all black too. Ooh, and there she go, y'all. Clean as a whistle. That is the number one comment that I got on this swap is how clean it is. How clean the swap is set in there. How clean everything is. How stuff is ran. I mean, yeah, you see hoses. Yeah, you see wiring, things like that. But nothing is out of place. Nothing looks like it was just put there i mean everything has a purpose everything has a place everything has a reason to be there so that is the number one uh compliment that i got on this engine is how clean it is and that's that means a lot to me you guys that means a lot because i've done a lot of time and effort into kind of making it look how it is and man i think we did it i think we did it so Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. It's getting hot. I got to get on the road. Plus, I forgot I have to come back out and tape uh, this front piece. So uh, let me go ahead and do that, and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. But you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. I at least wanted to give you something from LS Fest. Anyways, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, share, y'all. Do all that good stuff. I'm out of here. Deuces. Peace out.